Welcome back guys. In today's lecture we'll talk about variable declaration, variable access and also assignment expression. Right, so here is our code. We can now compile uh, expression statements, right, and group of expressions through the blocks. And as we said, the program is just an implicit block. Now for variable declaration, we're going to use var instruction, uh, which under the hood will be compiled to let variable declaration in JavaScript. And later to see the results, we'll be able to print those expressions. Okay, so let's start from the variable declaration, right? If we determine the expression is var, we're going to return the variable declaration node. Let's get back to the AST Explorer and see which node is generated for the let expression, right? We have let x equals 42. Now, as you can see, the type of the node is variable declaration, uh, which inside has the declarations property, right? Which is an array uh, of AST nodes of the type variable declarator. In this case, we have only one, but in general, JavaScript allows multiple declarators. Now we're going to support only one for simplicity, uh, but as an exercise, uh, feel free to implement multiple variables. So that's exactly what we return, the variable declaration, which should have the declarations property. Again, it's an array, and we have only one variable declarator, which should have the ID property, right, which is the name of the variable, and for this we call generically gen. It has initializer, right, located at the position 2, also calling the gen, and that should be it. Now, once we added the new node type in the compiler, we have to handle it in the JS code gen. So let's introduce the variable declaration, right? We said it should be let, followed by the variable name and the initializer, right? Let's extract it, and we have only single declaration. And then just call recursively gen on the ID equals gen on the init, right? And that should be it. Let's try executing. And we have the variable declaration, but we don't handle the symbols themselves yet. Uh, let's get back to the compiler, right? So if we determine the variable is symbol, that is the variable name, uh, we need to return the identifier node type, right? That's exactly what we do, type identifier, which has the name property. And the name is expression itself, that is the variable name. Sounds good, let's add it to the code gen, right? Just return the expression that name, and also add our helper is variable name, which uses the type of string and also checks for special symbols. Okay, that should be it, let's try again, and it works. As you can see, we have compiled code for the variable declaration, name x and the value 42, and correct AST node. Now we'll handle function calls in the next lectures, uh, and today let's also handle the variable update, that is the set instruction, which will be assignment expression. So let's get back to the compiler. If we determine the expression is set, we're going to return the assignment expression. Let's check it again in the AST Explorer. And exactly, we see the expression statement, with the assignment expression, which is the binary expression, right? It has left-hand side and right-hand side, and also the equal separator, right? So the type assignment expression, operator equals, and left-hand side and right-hand side, also calling the gen recursively. New expression type, let's not forget to add to the JS code gen, and return the left-hand side, equal separator, and the right-hand side. Okay, so plain simple, let's test it, and we see the variable update. Uh, however, notice we don't have the semicolon at the end, which is the bug. Let's get back to our toStatement function, and we need to consider now the new expression type, right? the assignment expression. If it appears in the uh, statement context, we need to add semicolon, that is, wrap it into expression statement. And that should be the whole fix. Let's try again. And we got the semicolon. As you can see, again, it's correct expression statement with the assignment expression inside. Okay, sounds good. And to show that our language might be different than the target language, uh, let's support also dashes in the variable names. Right? For example, scheme uh, programming language allow dashes, so we should be able to define variable like this, uh, var username, and use dash, and also use it in the print statement when we access. Now, for this one, we use variable declaration. Let's call the helper function to variable name, right? which will convert dashes to camel case used in JavaScript. Right, let's introduce extra helper to JS name. And here's the implementation. We just replace dashes uh, with the uppercase letter. That is the camel case. Okay, should be it. Let's try it. And we correctly updated the variable declaration, uh, but we need to update also the assignment expression. Right, as you can see, it's still with the dashes. So let's get back and fix it. Right, call in the same two variable name. Try again. And there we go. We see the variable is correctly renamed to the JavaScript name annotation. So we have the username variable with camel case. 
In the next lecture, we'll start talking about function calls and also start introducing the runtime system. That's it for today. Thanks and see you in the class.